Hey everybody, Brian and Leslie Fodrick here with the Unbreakable Podcast. Thanks for joining us again this week. We appreciate you coming. Be sure to like, subscribe, all the things that you do on YouTube. If you're um, on any of the podcast uh, platforms, be sure to uh, like our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to it. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't get really get analytics except unless you go to podpoint.com mm-hmm. and look up the Unbreakable Podcast. Um, so if you go to Podpoint, you can subscribe to that. You can actually subscribe through your email. And we can let you know when special things are coming, uh, special things mm-hmm. that we're doing. If we're going to be in your area um, doing a conference or uh, bringing books or whatever we're going to mm-hmm. do. So if you could do that for us, that'd be great. So that's our shameless plug to start the show. Um, <laughs> and so be sure to do all of that for us. And we thank you for that. We appreciate everyone who's listening yes. um, the, to the podcast and everyone who's watching the videos on YouTube. Yes, We really appreciate it. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for being a part of of. We are doing this for you. Yes. We're doing this because we want to get this information into your hands mm-hmm. so you can use it yeah. to live a, uh, an abundant life in God's kingdom. Yeah. That's why we do the Unbreakable Podcast. Yeah. And in the process, hopefully, we'll help your marriage stay strong and unbreakable and your family stay strong yes. and unbreakable. So that's kind of the goal. Yes. We wouldn't be doing this otherwise because we're not that big ego people. <laughs> so um, that's why we're doing it. So anyway, thank you for being with us today. Um, you probably have heard things like April showers bring May flowers mm-hmm. or when it rains, it pours. It pours. See, I, I didn't even have to stop. Mm-hmm. Leslie finished it for me. I, I could have just left it hang and I'm sure everyone who's listening would have said, it pours. Come mm-hmm. on, moron, say that it pours. Mm-hmm. So when it rains, it pours, uh, April showers bring May flowers. So we want to talk about, um, that theme as we're in the month of April still, mm-hmm. about April showers, mm-hmm. bringing May flowers, or bringing harvest, or bringing yes. fruit, um, depending on how you want to phrase that or look at that, how hyped up spiritually you want to make it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we want to talk today a little bit about rain, um, both physically and spiritually, yeah, and how it affects your life, mm-hmm. and, and then we want to continue in next week's podcast with how you respond to the rain. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week we're just going to talk about um, the effects of rain mm-hmm. um, or the lack of yeah. rain. And and I think our jumping off point today, uh, we were doing some looking. Actually, I was just say we, Leslie was, doing a lot more looking. I was setting up and listening to her as we talked about what we're going to say today. Mm-hmm. And uh, the scripture that popped up as we were talking about this was the scripture that says it rains on the just mm-hmm. and the unjust. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people, and I think I place into the whole, uh, when things, bad things happen to good people, mm-hmm. people are like, why God, why? Well, it rains on the just yeah. and the unjust. Yeah. Um, so I want to distinguish, I think there's two different types of rain. Yeah. Um, as far as in your life mm-hmm. goes. Um, I mean, we know the physical rain, right? So let's just look at that because natural things reveal supernatural things. It is. Yes. Um, so let's look at that. We live in the Midwest. Yeah. Uh, currently. And so I call March and April mud season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the end of March, it begins to rain. Yeah. And then it rains pretty consistently yeah. through the month of April. Mm-hmm. So where we live, March and April is the rain season or the what I like to call the mud season because you can't get away from it. Sure. Um, and and it, it is annoying mm-hmm. because you have to drive in it. Yeah. You know, can't just go out and play mm-hmm. or, you know, maybe the lawn's growing and I can't get out to mow it because mm-hmm. it's too wet. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of things that come with the rain that are negative. Mm-hmm. Um, gray clouds. Mm-hmm. It becomes dreary. Mm-hmm. Uh, potentially dangerous wind right. or hail right. or lightning. Mm-hmm. You know, exciting things come with rain. Yep. Where we live, tornadoes come with rain. Yeah. I don't know where you're from, but where we're at, mm-hmm. um, you know, maybe you're on the you're coastal and you get hurricanes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, whatever it is. But for us, it's, you know, tornadoes. March, April, and probably May yeah. is really, quote, unquote, tornado season. We don't believe we in We don't believe in that. But that tornadoes have a season, yes. but that's what they would call it around mm-hmm. here. It, to me, it's just mud season. But anyway, <laughs> because of the rain. 
Yep. So it, it can have a really negative connotation right. to it. Yeah. However, the results of the rain are good yeah. because now the grass is growing. Right. And our flowers. That yes. My, we, we live with my in-laws and my mother-in-law loves to put greenery everywhere. <laughs> she loves flowers. Everywhere. Yes. And so everything's in bloom and it's all looking beautiful. The world is turning green. Everywhere. Okay. Anyway, the world is turning green and beautiful with flowers, and so, that's a and, benefit. It's a good thing. And the trees begin to bud. Yes. And the critters start to show up. Yeah. You know, the rain brings everything to life. To life. Yeah. So if there's something happening that's rain in your life, it should be bringing life to your life. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So when when rain is coming and God's pouring rain in your life, mm -hmm. when God pours rain. He does it for two reasons. One, to bless. Mm -hmm. Two, to judge. Mm -hmm. So long as you're not in a place to be judged, you're right. probably in pretty good shape. Yeah. And so when God pours his rain out, mm -hmm. he pours it out to bless his people. Right. He pours it out to bring prosperity. Right. To bring peace. Yes. To bring um, reunion and, and, and restoration. Mm -hmm. um, Leslie was reading about the region in, in the Middle East mm -hmm. and how the rain season... Uh, it's only for a short period of time, and so they have to plant and get ready during that rain season, but it brings life. Then the rest of the year, it's just dry, desolate. Um, the growing season is like dry dry farming, like dry agriculture. Like They, they grow it, but it's it's all growing yeah. on the little bit that they got to start with. Yeah. It has to last the whole time. So Yeah. So, and, But now that's not God's kingdom, though. God doesn't eke out blessing, no. just so you know that. Um, but there are seasons of rain. There are seasons of good rain. There are seasons of bad rain. Mm -hmm. Torrential rainfall, you know, monsoons, whatever. Mm -hmm. There are seasons that come and go. And you have to realize it's just a season. Um, yeah. But the season can produce good fruit or bad fruit in you. Right. Yeah? Yes. No? Maybe? Yes. Um, so what we want to look at today is what rain does. Because mm -hmm. in the natural... It saturates the ground. Right. Right? And if your foundation's good, mm -hmm. it won't leak through your foundation into your basement. Right. If and if your foundation's good, you won't, like, slide off the hill or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, like that right. mudslide. Yeah, part of the absolutely country. right. So if, Hello, if your foundation is good, when the rain comes, you are sound and solid. Right. And hopefully you are you are fully on the rock of Jesus Christ. Because right. a, good, a good place to look if your foundation is right or wrong, is is during the rainy season. Because mm -hmm. if it's really bad, you're going to get flooding. If it's got some cracks in it, you'll get wet. You won't get flooded, but you'll get wet. But it gives mm -hmm. you an idea of what you need to patch up. Right. It'll, you go, right. pardon me, you can go in and look at it and say, okay, these are the areas that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. So when rain comes in your life, yeah. It actually can bring pressure mm -hmm. once the ground is saturated. Yeah. Um, I youth pastor for oh, my work a long time. Um, <laughs> and, and I used to do a sermon about um, what happens when you're squeezed. Mm -hmm. And in that sermon, I talked about taking a garbage bag, you know, like a big yard bag that you yep. put your leaves and twigs and whatnot in it, and mm -hmm. fill it mm -hmm. with nasty manure I mean, just compost, it, just ugly, nasty things. And then taking that bag and setting it out in the hot August sun for about 20, 30 days. <laughs> my, for those on the podcast, my wife is making faces. <laughs> and they're not positive. It's yucky. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. And, and so then after 20, 30 days of letting that just saturate and mingle and, and cook and do, go out and take a pocket knife or a stick and just poke a bunch of holes in it, pick it up, grab it, and squeeze it. What yeah. comes out? Nasty. Mm -hmm. Smelly. Dirty. You have to get cleaned after you squeeze it. Gross. Totally gross. Yeah, right? totally gross. Take that same bag, well, not the same bag, but a bag. Take another exactly bag. Like it. Yes. And fill it with uh, colognes and perfumes and potpourri and flower petals and 
you know, all the things that, that bring the sweet aroma. Mm -hmm. Set it out in the same sun for the same period of time. And when it's done, go out and poke the same holes in it and squeeze it. What comes out? It comes up an aroma that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's sweet and smelling. And it'll get on you. It'll get on you. Mm -hmm. And once it's on you, it's hard to get off of you. Yeah. Just like the other ones, it gets on you. It's hard to get off of you. Yeah. Uh, they get on you. And you become a sweet-smelling savor towards other people. Mm -hmm. Rain causes that. Because... Rain puts pressure on you. So when things are coming to you, because rain a lot of times is um, attached to difficult times. Yeah. You know, so when it rains, it pours, right? Yeah. Um, because that saying really means that if it's raining, then it's just going it to get just, harder. It's just worse. It's just going to get worse. Not something we believe and not something no. we ever confess over our life. Right. But that's what that saying means. Yeah. Go on. That's fine. Go on. I was just oh, I thought adding you, that in there. I thought you were going to roll for no, a while. No, no. <laughs> so... The pressure that comes with that when um, sickness comes or finances aren't where they're supposed to be mm -hmm. or the kids are fighting yep. or you and your spouse are fighting, hmm, um, you know, disagreeing about something. All, all those pressures that come show you in your foundation places that you can go and work on to make better. Right. They show you places in your life that say, okay. And you can get mad about it. And I'm getting ahead of myself because we're going to talk about that in the next podcast. Yeah. Um, but you can get mad about it or you can not get mad about it. But you can, for me, it's an assessment. Rain brings a time of assessing. Because when the rain comes, you're going to find out if your roof is leaky, if your foundation's leaky, mm -hmm. if, you, if you got to fix something in the yard where it puddles up really bad. So I think what he's talking about then right. is, is what you believe. Is part of your foundation. Yes. Um, what you believe, who you are in the Lord, um, how you respond to the things going on around you, all of the um, character things about you are considered your foundation. Yeah. And so if you have an excellent foundation, a good solid foundation, when it rains, when bad things happen, or when just good soaking things happen, you don't react in a way that's anti-God-like. <laughs> you you react in a way and you are you are drawing from what you have in your heart and what you yes. understand to be true about the Lord yes. and you don't turn on him and start blaming him and and yelling at curses at heaven and all that <coughs> stuff because you have a good foundation that tells you God is good he loves me he cares about me he has adopted me into his family right. i belong to him and so whatever's happening around me is not a God um, God pouring out judgment on me because right. I am in the right place. I'm under the blood of Jesus. Right. I'm under the covering of the Lord. And so when rain's happening, when bad things are coming against you, or sometimes when the good is overwhelming you, yeah. That brings out bad things in people, too, sometimes. Um, but but when those things are happening, then you can see, where am I at? Where am I at in my heart? Where am I at in my spirit, man? What is going on with me, and what do I need to fix? That's, I think, what Brian is talking yeah. about. It is. Huh. Thanks for the clarification. I understood. Yay. Yay well, sometimes you just need to say it in a different way, so yeah. everybody understands. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. I have nothing. No. <laughs> That's never true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're sorry. It's just cracking each other up over here. Uh, so you have to realize that um, you're not under judgment. That the rain is pouring on the just and the unjust. Right. right. Um, and then, and then, um, and so just know that when God brings rain into your life, or even if it's just life bringing rain into your life, it's not always God, mm -hmm. um, that if you'll be patient in the process, mm -hmm. you'll see the results right. come May. Mm -hmm. Not literally each May. But it, afterward. But afterwards. Yeah. After, after the rain has come, mm -hmm. you'll get to see the life that it's produced mm -hmm. in you yeah. and for you. Um, so we, we, we just we wanted to talk about that. Next, we want to talk about the, the judgment side of it and... and and how that looks for those that are in God mm -hmm. and those that are not mm -hmm. in God. All right, so here we are, the judgment side of rain. Mm -hmm. So obviously 
the referral is going to be Noah yeah. And, yeah. and the ark. Sure. Right? That's the biggest rain, the first rain. The <laughs> it's, it's rain that is incredibly huge and took out Everything. everybody except for Noah and what he had in the ark. Yeah. So. Have you ever been near flooding? Um, multiply that worldwide and 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 because flooding is horrible. Mm -hmm. um, I had a buddy of mine uh, from college. We we live fairly near the Mississippi River. Uh, far enough away from it, that's not going to affect us if it floods. Mm -hmm. But it was probably in the late '80s, early '90s that there was a massive flooding of the Mississippi River mm -hmm. from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And down Reaching around miles outside of the bank, yeah, and, it, yeah, it escaped the bank. Um, and so, what and what happened was when that floods that largely, uh, everything that's in the water goes with it, it leaves the, the encampment the of the bank. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so, it goes like she said, it literally went, it was like five, six, ten miles outside the yeah. banks, flooded around the St. Louis. And just north of St. Louis region, mm -hmm. um, one of the consequences of that flooding was all the water snakes yeah. ended up in all these little towns. Mm -hmm. I mean, by the thousands, mm -hmm. they had snake. So my friend actually went to work for a company. They did what they called abatement, and they went in and took the snakes out of your house, yeah. your yard, your garden, your dog shed, whatever, mm -hmm. wherever they were at, yeah. and they they made a ton of money for probably a year taking snakes and putting them back into Mississippi mm -hmm. because bad things came out of the flooding. Right. So flooding creates consequences that are negative right. and does that. However, if you're in the kingdom, if you're in, in covered by God, you're protected by him, he creates a shelter, mm -hmm. the ark. Yeah. He creates a shelter where you can ride out the rain. Right. So it's not that the rain doesn't affect you because mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. It's all around you and affecting everybody around you, but it doesn't affect you mm -hmm. the same way it affects them. Right. So God's judgment is being poured out because mm -hmm. it rains on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. But in that rain, you can be know that you're safe because you know our life scripture, you know James one thirteen that when one say was tempted, you know it's evil that. He's been tempted by God. Mm -hmm. God's not tempted with evil, nor does he tempt man with evil. Mm -hmm. So even though it's raining and, and there's coming, that, that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, in this particular case, it was God who brought that rain. It was he mm -hmm. who brought that judgment. Yeah. And for 120 years, people made fun of the guy who was building the ark that could have saved them instead of jumping in and helping him build it. Right. Instead of deciding, hey, I'm going to join him mm -hmm. and be righteous. I mean, yeah. and, and as, it ended up being eight people. Mm -hmm. Eight in all of the world that God saved. Mm -hmm. I think it could have been more if they had responded better. Mm -hmm. But they didn't see the threat. Yeah, they didn't see the issue. Uh, we do now, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but that's hindsight, right? Right. And, and so when 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 there's judgment that comes, the rain uh, of judgment that comes, you can be protected in regards to that. There's a scripture that says that God makes a way of escape. Um, paraphrasing in a time of judgment, mm -hmm. he, he makes a way for you to escape the judgment. Mm -hmm. um, that's through Christ Jesus. That's that's just that's his way of escape. Yeah. Um, doesn't mean you won't see it. Doesn't mean it won't affect you. Um, doesn't mean it won't touch your life. Mm -hmm. It just means that you can go through it in a different way than everybody else around yeah. you. For we for for us as um, Christians, those who are under the blood of Jesus. Um, God intends for us to be blessed and yep. to live life abundantly. Um, and so he, in his blessings, he declares in his word that he sends rain. Um, he opens up the heavens and sends rain. And he counts that as a blessing. Yeah. And so we can count the physical rain as a blessing. We can also count times of saturation of his Holy Spirit, yeah. which is an, a symbol. Rain is a symbol of the yeah. Holy Spirit times of saturation of his Holy Spirit as a blessing. And so there may be times in your life where maybe you're called to just set yourself apart and let the Holy Spirit rain on you and let the, the waters of the Holy Spirit just cover you and, and, and soak into you. That's a blessing time from the Lord. There may be times where he calls you to fast and do that. There may be mm -hmm. times where he calls you to have prayer. 
on a regular basis with yeah. someone else. And he's just giving you a time yeah. where he can saturate That's you good. with the Holy Spirit. And that brings blessing. It'll bring fruit in your life. It'll be bring fruit in your family, bring fruit in your marriage. Um, just whatever you're um, experiencing or whatever you're trying to get to change in your life. Sometimes it's just that saturating of the Holy Spirit that's necessary. No, yeah, that's good. That's really good. I'm not going to add to that or change that. I'm going to leave that way. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the next few minutes and, and we'll see what Leslie adds to this. But I'm going to take the next few minutes. I want to talk to you about um, the rain we're seeing right now, um, mm. especially here in America, in our culture. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a rain mm -hmm. against the family and what the family should look like. Yeah. Um, our culture has gone crazy. Yeah. Um, and quickly. Yeah. It's really not as quickly as you think. This has been building for years, mm -hmm. but it just feels so quick because it's so blatant. Yeah. Uh, and so that rain is affecting you. It's touching you. It's mm -hmm. it's happening all around you. Mm -hmm. It's touched your educational system. Mm -hmm. um, unless you're homeschooling, it's yeah. really touched your education. And even there, you're going to have to teach about what's being taught. Mm hmm so you can counteract it, counteract it mm -hmm. and create a shelter and arc for your children mm -hmm. in the midst of the culture. Right. Um, not easily done, but we're through it. We've, we've done that. We have, mm -hmm. we have accomplished that. All of our children are, are raised now um, and out of school. And so we have done that. And it's really funny because they get involved in situations and circumstances where the things that we talk to them, I have to come out, <laughs> mm -hmm. whether they want it to or not, because they're being challenged by those people their age yep. um, on raising children, on uh, the the pronoun thing, the gender thing, mm -hmm. all all of that, um, the sexuality thing. That's that's a reign yeah. that's in the culture yeah. that's happening right now, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to succumb to the culture and just give in. Yeah. And, and, and do that, you know, years ago, probably 25 years ago, um, when the culture began to preach, and that's what they were doing, they were indoctrinating, and they were preaching, and this isn't meant to be political, this is spiritual, uh, they, but they were indoctrinating and preaching tolerance, you must tolerate who I am, you must tolerate what I do, you must tolerate my, my beliefs, but that only counted towards them, but if you disagreed at all, they did not tolerate you. Mm -hmm. And right now there's a lack of tolerance towards Christianity, mm -hmm. um, towards people of faith. Yeah. And, and so that has flipped. So it's going to, it's going to affect your family. It's going mm -hmm. to affect you. Yeah. It's, it's how you decide to sit in the ark and let the rain mm -hmm. around you mm -hmm. not touch you, mm -hmm. but be aware of it. Yeah. Um, so there's all sorts of things going on right now that uh, I consider rain. And they bring pressure. Yeah. Um, if you look at corporations right now, they're being pressured mm -hmm. to respond to certain um, agendas, mm -hmm. can we say, mm -hmm. um, by different groups yeah. who are really very small minority groups. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not talking um, racial minority. I'm talking about other kinds of minority groups. And they're pushing and prodding yeah. and they're putting pressure on corporations to do things that they would have never done 5, 10, 15 years ago. Right. How do you respond to that? How how does that affect you? And and, and looking at the reign of judgment that's happening mm -hmm. around us because things are happening that are not positive, right? And 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 they're happening more and more often. Mm -hmm. um, you have to learn how to take the bad reigns and the good reigns mm -hmm. and not let them affect you, but let God produce fruit in you, yeah. no matter what the season is. Right. No matter if the rain is harmful, mm -hmm. or if the rain is helpful. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to respond to that rain. Yes. It's up to you to be ready for that rain. Mm -hmm. um, there's a movie out, what was it called? Uh, Facing the Giants. And they, they uh, this guy was going through and praying over all the lockers. And and doing all, and the coach is like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm preparing for rain. Mm -hmm. goes, what? I'm preparing because summer it's been rain here in the south. It, it's I'm preparing for rain. He was speaking spiritually. Yeah. And so the coach finally caught on to it. So he began to prepare mm -hmm. for whatever rain was coming his way. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't watched the movie, go watch it. It's really good. Um, it's the, the first big hit by the Kendrick brothers. Uh, they've done all sorts of stuff then. 
since then we won't go on a rabbit trail here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's a really good movie. But in that movie, he talked about preparing yourself for the rain. In that case, they were preparing for the blessing of God. Right. They were preparing for God to reign on their life and do mm -hmm. something unique and different. And then when it happened, it blew the coach's mind because yeah. someone gave him a new vehicle, mm -hmm. brand new. They donated it to him as a thank you for coaching the kids. They, uh, they played a team that they'd lost to in the playoffs, but the team got found out that they were cheating, so they got sent to the state championship to play the mm -hmm. largest, biggest, baddest team. And spoiler alert, they win the state championship. Mm -hmm. So they do all of these things, and it overwhelmed this guy. He was overwhelmed because he got the truck, they won the, they won the ball game, he got a raise, they're going to move to a nicer house, and he gets home, and uh, he and his wife had not been able to be, uh, have babies at, at that point. They had tried and tried and tried, and he gets home from the game, and his wife's like, by the way, you've made the daddy team. You're going to be a dad. Mm -hmm. And he just falls to his knees like, oh, God, I can't take it. You're overwhelming. The, the rain was too much for him. Mm -hmm. So how cool would that be? But a good how, rain. That's, that's a good, good rain. rain. Yeah. Uh, how <laughs> cool would rain. that be to place yourself because you prepared for rain, mm -hmm. to prepare yourself for rain, and all of a sudden it's so good yeah. that you just can't stand it. Yep. And, and and I believe that will happen uh, for you if you'll place yourself in preparation and prepare yourself for rain, no matter what kind of rain's coming. And know that the good yeah. rain is on its yeah. way. There's a verse in, um, I think it's Psalms or Proverbs, and it's in my Amplified Bible, and I couldn't find it before we started talking today, so I'm just going to kind of paraphrase to you what it says. But mm -hmm. it says that the Lord will shower the righteous with blessings, That's the good. homes of the righteous with blessings. And so um, prepare your heart, prepare your ground, your heart for the rain, and receive blessing from the Lord. It's really a, a good place to be. That's cool. Yeah. Give you one last thought, and we'll close this up. Um, the next time you're taking a shower and you're standing underneath it and it's just overwhelming you, yep. begin to think about how God can do that with the, the, the shower yeah. of his blessing Amen. on your life. Yep. And, and just kind of stay in there for a minute and think, hmm, <laughs> that'd be so cool, right? And, yep. and the scripture says that he can do above and beyond what you can think and imagine. Right. He's talking about raining blessing mm -hmm. onto you mm -hmm. in such a way that you won't even be able to it's over it's overwhelming right. it's beyond what you could even think and imagine so if you mm -hmm. if you can think big which you know i have a huge imagination but god's is bigger okay. and so we always just place that in his hand and let him do what he wants to do yep anything else amen no that's good that's good she said that's good <laughs> that means it's a wrap <laughs> we stop when she says it's good it's good all right guys thank you for uh, hanging out with us today uh, thank you for being with us. Don't forget to go to the unbreakablefamily.com and sign up for uh, family and marriage coaching and to get the, the shameless plug book, The <laughs> Family Manual by my favorite author, Leslie Flowery. Uh, so if you can get that all done uh, real soon, that'd be great. And we love you and we're praying for you as a family. And we will talk to you again soon on the Unbreakable Podcast. Bye for now. <laughs>